Um, good day, traders all over the world. Um, firstly, I just want to thank those who kept on subscribing um, to our YouTube uh, content, right? Um, and those comments, those feedbacks and testimonials, most importantly, um, I just want to thank those who kept on saying um, the strategy has benefited them and the strategy really worked on their favor. Um, we just want to thank you for trusting us and trusting our strategy, right? Now, I'm not going to mess anything up. I'm going to add more on the strategy. I'm just going to show you the principles to master um, when you enter the market, right? Principles to consider when you enter the market, right? Uh, principles um, to consider for entry levels. To consider to master your entry. Right? Remember, we are still on NES 100, which is familiar known, known as NASDAQ. Right? Exactly. Or US State. After New York session open. Remember, we are not fundamental traders but we are technical traders right we trade uh, based on the analysis not based on news release right now remember um you must ask yourself you can't just enter the market because the market is going bullish or the market is going bearish right on a fast pace or a higher momentum but you must there are principles or tools that you must consider before you enter the market right now, firstly, you must ask yourself, you must ask yourself these questions, right? You see, you are in the market, right? And it's after New York session opens, right? Now, you are in the market, you want to buy Nasdaq or you want to sell Nasdaq. But first, you must consider asking yourself these kind of questions. Is the market at the support of the resistant level? Support of resistant level, which is mostly familiar used by technical traders which is mostly used by um, technical traders especially price action traders right is the market at the support of the resistant level now if you want to buy the market the market must be at the support right if you want to sell the market must be at the resistant level right secondly you must identify this um, type of patterns taking place each and every day reason why we we are familiar with this uh patterns is because um they take place on a normal basis they take place on a normal basis double top and double bottom formations you must be able to identify them right thirdly is the market rejecting the sellers or is the market rejecting buyers right and then fourthly you must be able to identify this kind of a shape taking place now these days uh, we have identified um, there is a new pattern taking place which is known as the v-shape v-shape formation simply means um, the market is going bullish when it comes to nasdaq when it comes to Nasdaq, most of the time, when the market is changing direction or when the market is going bullish, you will identify this kind of a shape taking place, right? Especially at the support level, which is the V shape formation. You will spot um, a pattern just like this a V. It forms a V at the support level, meaning that the market is going to do what is going to buy, right? Now, I'm going to give you two or three minutes to write this down and once we go deeper on each and every um, topic of formations, right? Now, these are formations that we, we, we acquire or use in order to give us a clear direction. And also, um, when you have this individually, they will also boost your confidence in order to reduce the level of higher impact when it comes to fear right when it comes to fear now you will not even fear entering the market because you have your tools or principles in place 
right? Because when you just enter the market without the valid reason, you will be scared and you will lose a lot of money. You just enter the market because you think the market is going um, upside or you think the market is going um, bullish, right? Now we, we don't we don't assume we don't assume when it comes to forex trading you don't assume that the market is going bullish or bearish right you don't take chances you don't take chances you must have this in place now let's start first with the support and the resistance what is the support and the resistance level now these are the levels that normally when the market reaches those prices the market change direction right now. Let's look at this for example. Now, let's assume that the market was on a bullish trend, right? There was a bullish trend taking place. And then all of a sudden, when the market reaches this, uh, this level, then the market uh, automatically changes what direction, right? Then you have this taking place. Um, you have this taking place, right? Now, looking at this example, right, the market has been running on a bullish pattern, right, or a uptrend, a motion or momentum, right. The market was going bullish, um, let's, let's say for two or three weeks, the market was bullish. Now, when the market reaches this price of 1.2867, for example, right, we can just put our prices there so that we don't forget um, we don't forget them right now look at this the market has been going bullish on an upper momentum right or an uptrend right and all of a sudden when the market reaches this position or this level the market went bearish now you have to ask yourself as a trader why is the market all of a sudden going um, bearish when it reaches this price now what are we going to do in order to identify if it is a resistant really we have to get at least two or three touches taking place at that price of 1.2867 there must be at least two or three touches taking place at the same price then we know that there is a resistant that is holding the buyers now that resistant wants to uh, wants to allow the sellers to enter the market or the bearish um, momentum or the bearish formations or bearish structure to take place now now the, this um, resistant level is giving um, the sellers a chance or an opportunity to enter the market for a sale right now the, the uptrend is broken now the uptrend is broken now you must have at least one two or three touches taking place at the same price Right? Then we know that it, that is a strong resistance level. There is a strong resistance level taking place. Um, let me just write it. I'm, I'm, I'm write it. Right? There is a resistance level taking place. Meaning that when the market reaches that price, the market will change direction automatically or the market will retrace at that price. Right? Um, now, we have two we have two kinds of resistance and the support. We have a permanent resistance level. I know mostly you are not used to it. We have a permanent resistance level taking place and we have a, a, a temporary acting as a resistance level, right? And we have a, a permanent support level and then we have a temporary acting as a support level, right? We have a permanent, um, we have a temporary Acting support level, right? You must have at least one, two, three touches. Then we confirm that okay, we have a resistance level. Now, when it comes to a support, let's say the market has been going on a downtrend. The market has been going on a downtrend, and then all of a sudden, when the market reaches this position, the market change direction right on something like this on something like this right 
Now, the market has been going on a downtrend, right? On a, yes, on a, a bearish movement or a bearish formation, so a bearish momentum. All of a sudden, when the market reaches this price, this position of, um, for example, you can use the same, um, you can use the same price, just for example, right? Now, when the market reaches this level, the market automatically changes direction. Now, simply means that the, the pattern or the, the downtrend pattern has been broken. Once we break the trend, we know that the market is automatically going to change direction, right? Exactly. Now, we have at least um, to have at least one, two, three touches. Then we can confirm that this is a support level. It is a support. That is taking place there, meaning that um, when the, the sellers are, are when the sellers reaches this price, they lose strength or they lose their momentum, they lose pressure. Now the buyers come in pressure, forcing the market to change direction. Now at this price or at this price is here taking place, um, and buyers will know where to be found. Buyers will know where to be found because. They didn't have strength, right? Now, when they reaches this price of a support level, now they gain strength. Now they go for a upper movement or upper momentum, right? Now, there is a difference between a permanent uh, resistance level and a temporary resistance. I will show you how to see the two because sometimes the resistance level, um, okay, <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you. When the resistant level is broken, when the resistant level is broken, that was no longer a resistant, right? It was a temporary resistant. Mm -hmm. That is why most of the time, when the market reaches a certain price, then you assume it's a resistant, then you sell and sell and sell, and the market breaks out of that resistant level. Not, not knowing or not viewing that there has been um, a resistant at that price, maybe last month and then this month you have a new resistance this is this is not this is not a permanent resistance but it's a temporary acting resistance because the permanent resistance is this one of last month now that is why it's very important to always um draw your, your vertical lines for your resistance level you must not remove them because the market will automatically at some point or sooner or later go and retest that um resistance level of last month now this one is of this month it was just acting as a resistant level right and so why most of the time we have this kind of a setup now when it comes to resistant and the support level this is what takes place when the market is moving like this right now you have your resistance level um, taking place and then you have your support level now confirming the breakout strategy is this what were we trying to assume we were assuming that once we break out of the resistant level once we break out above the resistant level the, the resistant level is no longer the resistant level but the resistant level is changed to a support level this is now our new support level. That is why we buy when the market brings above the resistant level. Right? These are basics. These are the basics. Now, when you have uh, this, right? You have your resistant level. You have your support level. Right? Remember, remember, reason why we, we said below the breakout of a support is this. Remember, when you have a breakout out of the support level, if you have a breakout below the support level, the support level is no longer the support level, but the support level it is now our new resistance level. It is now our new resistance level. Right? Once you break out of the resistance level, this line or that price is no longer 80 as a resistance level, but it is now our new support level. Now, when it comes to 
um, breaking the support level. Our support level is no longer our support level, but it is now the resistant level. Once the market breaks out of the resistant, it changes to a support. When the market breaks below the support level, it changes into a new resistant level. Very important. Very important to remember. Right? Now, that is your um, support and resistance. Now, remember, when it comes to support, we hope for a buy. Um, we hope for a buy. Support level, we buy, right? Bullish. When it's not broken, resistance level, we sell. Bearish. When it's not broken. When it's holding strongly the position, right? Now, when the market set so, so, uh, the support, a strong holding support to be exact, um, not broken one, right? And then when the market is at the resistant, um, holding resistant, we set, we set from that position, right? Now that is how you identify your support. Support you buy, resistant you set. Support represent bullish movement that will take place sooner or later, right? And then the resistance represent um, bearish movement or bearish engulfing patterns that will take place sooner or later. Exactly. Right, number two, your double top, right? Now you have confirmed um, your support and your resistance, right? Secondly, let's go to your double top, right? Or double bottom. Now, very important, very important. Remember, remember, remember this. The basic says, the basic says, when you say um, um, price action resistance and the support level, you have to identify them from a one hour to an upper time frame, right? You don't identify them on 15 minutes or 30 minutes to confirm them, but you confirm them 100% um, on one hour going upwards. One hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly, so, so, and so, and so, yearly. You know, you don't identify them on a one hour time frame, especially when it comes to nesting. Still talking about nesting, right? But when it comes to this, we identify them mostly on a 15 minute time frame. We, we take, I will, I will explain it in full once I finish taking, going through them one by one, right? Now, what is a double top? Double top formation represents a change of direction for sellers. Double top represents a change of direction for sellers. Double bottom represents a change of direction for buyers, right? Double top, um, okay, let me just, let me just draw my horizontal line there, like this, right? To make it more uh, easy to understand. Now, these ones, they represent sell, sellers or a bearish movement, right? This one represents buyers, um, bullish, right? Now, you will see this kind of formations making this pattern, right? You will see this kind of formations making this pattern. Now, this is an M. Mostly, you can call it an M, double top, or a mula. Mulas. Mulas. Mulas, right? And then a, this one, you can call it a W, which is a double bottom, or wheelies. Mulas and the wheelies, right? Now, we know mostly when the market forms a double top, we are sooner or later going to sell. And then right here, you have your neckline then right here you have your neckline that is where when the market is going to retest you can have another entry we assume the market is going to go on the upside when the market um, goes to retest the neckline 
we know those who now meter, we are going to set. Right now, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Look at this and tell me if this is not very clear for you to understand. Right now, the market was moving on an upside. Right now, all of a sudden, you have this touch at a price. Remember, when the market is moving on an upside and then you have a retracement, at that retracement, you must always draw your horizontal line. Oh no, your, your vertical line, right? So that in the market, retest again and, and, and have a retracement, you know, there is something taking place at that price or position, right? And then the market did this and then it did that, right? Now, you have your, your first touch and the market does what? It goes. It goes um, um, bearish, right, for a little bit of time and then retraced to go in return or, or to, to retest the same price again. And then it does what? It goes bearish again. Now, automatically, when you have your one or two touches, remember, uh, on an upside, it simply means you have a what? A resistance taking place. A resistance taking place. Now, again, you have your what your touch on the downside and the market did what it retraced upside again it simply means there is also something that is taking place here at this level now as price action traders or technical traders we can also say this is a temporary acting um sub as a support okay let me it's, it's temporarily acting as a support level Right? If we have a break, if the market decides to do this, if the market decides to do this and breaks above, we know we have our W. That is how you, you identify the two. Right? But if the market breaks below the support level, we have what? And, and simple. Right? So you can use this as your acting um, temporarily. Temporarily acting support level. Now you know you have your first touch, second touch, you have identified it as a resistance level because there are two touches taking place at the same price. Now the market retrace, right? And go and test this price and went back to retest the resistance level. And then it comes again to retest again the support level. Now we are waiting for a what? For a breakout. Now, when you have a breakout below that, we are going to sell. Now, we have confirmed that the market is going to sell. And remember, remember, a price to show that it's really a support or a resistance, then the market will go and retest it again. Right? That is why most of the time, the market will do this. It's going bearish, right? The market will go and retest and then do this to retest again the support level, which is now our what our resistant level. Right? It's no longer acting as a support level, but it is now our um, temporary resistant level. On a 15 minute time frame, as we train this. Right? Now, same applies to the W's. Same applies to that. The market was going down, right? Or oh, on a uh, downtrend pattern or a downtrend formation or movement or structures, right? Or momentum. And then all of a sudden, there is a price that is holding the sellers. Now, you spot this um, this price taking place, right? And then the market did what it retraced up to this position, right? And then it, it, it went back again. To go and retest the same price that it retested previously. Now, if it goes up, now we know that we have a support taking place. Why? Right? Because we have two touches at the same price, and that price is holding the sellers, meaning that we have our new acting support level. Right now, the market will automatically move to the upside. Right now, when it moves to the upside, this is what we do. We know that we had a touch, a retracement, right, inside uh, our, our, our structure, right? 
Now, just because we have a touch, we are going, and the market comes to touch it again. Before it breaks out, it will touch that price, right? Exactly. Now, we will call this our acting temporary resistance level. And also this one is temporary because we are not sure, we are, we, didn't, we are not clear or we don't have a confirmation yet whether it's a strong holding support or a temporary or a permanent one. Yes, right? Now, what are we waiting for a breakout? When the market decides to go back into this level and breaks it, we know that we have a sell. It confirms a double top, right? Um, and then this one will no longer be a support, right? Now, this is what will happen, talking about the double top formation, right? The market will test uh, the resistance level again and breaks above. When it breaks above, we automatically know that, that we have our W taking place. Now, this is what the market will do because at the, same, at the price that is taking place, the market will go and retest that price. You know we have a resistance level, so at some point the market will come and retest and then buy. Now this is no longer a resistance but a new support level. Now when it comes to W, there can be a retest. This can happen. Most of the time it can happen. Most of the time it doesn't happen. Most of the time this happens. The market will just automatically move upside because this patterns change direction and when there are patterns like this when you identify them they move at the at the at the, at the strong pace or at a higher momentum right this this patterns move they like they move this can happen also this side the market can just decide to move up until to go and retest your support down there this one will go and retest the resistance up there. Right? Safety. Now, thirdly, we are moving on. So, that is how you trade your double top and your um, double bottom formation. Now, um, on, when it comes to patterns like double tops, we will have also this kind of a pattern, which is a, a triple top and then you can have a triple bottom taking place, right? That's it. So you can identify them on a 15 minute time frame. Now, once you identify them, now you must look for this, which is a, a rejection. Now, when you want to buy from the market, let's assume that we have uh, this kind of uh, structure taking place, right? Now you want to sell, you can see the market is at the resistant level and then now you want to compare your M, right? Now most of the time the market will, will go to this level to retest it and then automatically it rejects the bias. The market was going on a bullish trend, right? Bullish momentum and then all of a sudden the market retraced at that position and the market came to this level and retraced again to go and retest the same um, price or position and then once again when it reaches this this price um, the market did what rejects simply means the market is rejecting the bias now sellers must come into place now you must spot those rejections there must be a rejection taking place Rejection is this kind of a candle. You will have your, your candle there, and then you have a long line. Long line, meaning that the market is rejecting these prices. The market is rejecting these prices, and also it is going to do what? To clear your stop losses. If you put your stop loss above this level, the market will go and clear the stop losses. That is why most people like, don't trade really stop losses anymore. Is because of this kind of uh, uh, candles taking place. Now, let's say we are bearish, we want to buy, right? We'll have something like this. 
is your GGXC. The market will have a candle, small candle, small candle with a long line taking place. Right now, the market is doing what is rejecting. Now, when you want to buy, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Let's say you have your the market has been going bearish, right? And then the market retraced. Once it retraced to the line there, and then the market comes again to retest this, and then all of a sudden at the same price or same level, you will have your candle like this, and then form something like that. Simply means the market is rejecting the sellers, these sellers, these prices, these prices where you wanted to enter the market, right? Where you were looking for a breakout. Um, it's also clearly the stop losses. Also clearly the stop losses. Now, after it, um, it rejected, then the market will go up. Remember, rejections, most of the time, rejections means change in direction. Change in direction. Right? It means change in direction. When you see a rejection, it simply means the market is going to change sooner or later. Right now, we must spot those kind of things taking place, rejections, and then your vision. A vision is like, let's say the market has been moving to a downside. Now, at the support, when you have identified your support, right? Support, 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 retesting, support, retest. You will have something like this all of a sudden, and then it moves, it moves, and then it moves. Then it moves, then it moves. It forms something like a V. V underneath there or at the support level. It will form something like this. A V on one hour. On one hour mostly, and then also four hour going up to larger time frames. But mostly on one hour, we will spot it. Uh, when the market is going bullish. A V shape is for bullish movement. It changes direction into a, a bullish direction right simply means you are going to buy when you see a v shape on one hour time frame um, the market is going to buy sooner or later and also for for double tops double bottoms yes you can also spot them on one hour and four hour time frame they take place mostly on those also but mostly we trade them on a 15 minute time frame right now Let's come to the real trading setup. Let's come to the real trading setup. Remember, you have your support, right? Um, you want to enter the market, so you, not the support, but your resistance, right? You have your res resistance there, and then you have your support there. Now, you want to enter the market. The market is moving. The market is moving, 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 moving. Doing those kind of um, patterns, right? You know how the market moves. The market doesn't move in, in the same same way. It just makes those zigzag, zigzag, or waves. Yeah, right, right? So now, you want to buy, right? You know that the market tested your resistance, tested your resistance, tested your resistance. You did have a breakout after the New York session opens, right? Now you want to sell from the market because you can see that the market didn't break the resisted level, right? Now you ask yourself, is the market at the resistance? Yes, the market is at the resistance, right? Now, secondly, you must be able to look for this. You must be able to look for an M. Is there an M taking place? If yes, then you go to the third option. Do I see a rejection taking place? Do I see a rejection taking place at the resistance, right? If yes, then you can enter the market, right? And then, um, same applies to the opposite of a support. Is the market at the support? If yes, do you see a double bottom or a triple bottom? If yes, then you must look for a rejection, right? If yes, your confirmation also, you can go to a one hour and look for a V, right? Remember, remember, 
Let's show you this. Let me show you. I'm adding all this, putting it on a breakout strategy now. Right. Breakout strategy, this is how you train it. This, you switch it to 15 minute time frame. Remember, after New York session opens, you go to 15 minute time frame, then you spot your lower low of the day, right? And then you spot your higher high of the day. Let me do it like this. The market is moving, right? The market is moving. The market is moving. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. It's moving, right? Now, this is what you do. After New York session opens, you go to 15 minute time frame. You look for a high high of the day or the highest level of the day or the highest price of the day, right? As you can see here, the market has been moving. This is the highest price of the day. You draw your, your vertical line right there, right? Secondly, you have to find or spot your lower lows of the day or your lowest price of the day or your lowest position or your lowest candle of the day then you draw the line there let me let me draw it at the at the at the you draw your line remember this is a 15 minute time frame um, this is a 15 minute time frame right this is a 15 minute time frame then what do you do let's say you have a confirmation of a w there is a w taking place you see a w right okay fine now you have to wait for a breakout right we are waiting for a breakout let's say now the market breaks there is a question right that came that i came across there's a question that said on which time frame do we trade right let me show you right you've identified your, your double top and your support level is strong right it didn't break below and the market broke above um, the resistance level, right? You don't automatically enter the trade on a 15 minute time frame, but you must wait also, right? You have those lines. When you go to one hour time frame, automatically those lines are still there. But you must also wait for the candle to close above your resistance level. on one hour time frame that is where you can enter your trade not on a 15 minute time frame because on a 15 minute time frame this can happen the market can also go back um, to go and retest because 15 minute time frame um the candles they move a little bit quick 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 quick, quick change direction quick right but on one hour you must wait for a, a, a candle to close above the resistant level and if it breaks above the resistant level on one hour then you can enter your trade of a bar but if it close um, below if it close below let's say you, you spotted your, your M down up there and then the market breaks if it breaks below the support level on 15 minute time frame Right, you have a breakout on 15 minute time frame. You have identified your double tops that gives you um, um, a, a clear view, right, of where the market is really going. You have seen those principles, you have identified them, right? Now you are just waiting for the last part, which is a breakout, right? Now, when you have a breakout on a 15 minute time frame, you must also um, um, change your your time frame to one hour you go to one hour then you view it in one hour if the market broke below the support level on one hour time frame then you can confirm your entry level right that is the difference you don't enter on a 15 minute time frame but you spot your higher highs and your lower lows on 15 minute time frame you spot your m's and w's on 15 minute time frame and then um, you change to one hour. You change to one hour to look for a breakout. When the market closed below, below the support level on one hour, then you can set. Then you can set. Now let's break it down. 
completely. Let's break it down completely so that it can be very, very simple for you to get it. Right? Remember, this is a resistance. Um, this is your support taking place. Now, you have your first option. Let's say the market is at the resistance. The market has been testing, testing, testing the resistance. The market is at the resistance currently. Right? Right? Okay, five. It's taking place. Right? And you have identified your higher highs and lower lows of the day on 15 minute time period. This is happening. And then all of a sudden, you receive your information taking place about this happens most of the time or each and every day when it comes to next day after new york session open right now you have your m you have identified your m you've identified firstly your resistance level we want to sell right you have to identify your resistance level secondly you have to identify your double top formation taking place right thirdly there must be a rejection a rejection you must also look for a rejection. Let's say the market is rejected at that price. There is a rejection taking place there. Then you have three confirmations. You have three, three confirmations that the market is going to go um, for a set, right? Now, we, the fourth confirmation, now the last confirmation is just a breakout. You're just waiting for the market to break the support level. If the market breaks the support level, you go to one hour. The market must break below this candle. This candle must break below the support level on one hour time frame. Then you can enter. Then you can have your energy. Right? Why? Why? Because the market had a strong resistance level that was not broken. Secondly, you have spotted your double top formation taking place. Thirdly, you have a rejection. You have a rejection that rejected the bias at a certain price or certain position. Now, fourthly, you have a breakout out of the support level. Now, you can confirm that you have your um, four confirmations. You have your four confirmations. Then you have your four confirmations. Then you can enter the market. This limit, this limit the, 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 the impact of fear of entering the market. If you have your four options or four confirmations, then you will not have that much or you will not fear the market that much or you will not fear your entries that much or your confirmation that much because you have your principles or tools that are guiding you. Right? For set. This is for set. Now let's go to, to bullish. Let's go to bullish. Let's go to bullish. And it will be it will be a, a bonus for us when the market breaks with this kind of a candle. Which is a, a bearish engulfing pattern. We know a bearish engulfing pattern simply means that the market is really gonna go down, right? The market is gonna is really gonna go bearish because it's a candle that puts in more pressure. To the market right okay let me just give you two minutes you first identify the resistance i'm sorry about this you first identify the resistance secondly you identify your double top or the rubble top or head and shoulder so on and then fourthly rejection and then um and a breakout Right. On the next video, I will be like explaining about the double tops, um, triple tops, um, and the head and shoulders in, in content, right? Um, yes, the market must be at the resistance, not broken resistance, right? Because we know, once the market breaks below the support level, this is no longer a support level, right? Remember, but now it's our new resistance level. That is why we are selling. We had a breakout once the, the, the um, support um, support breaks. It is no longer a support level, but it is now our new resistance level. Meaning that the sellers are coming with more pressure. 
and the bias they cannot contain the pressure right exactly now let's do the opposite of this now we are buying you want to buy from the market this has been taking place right you know what the market likes to do right then you have identified your um, lower low of the day and then you have identified your higher high of the day after new york session opens right which is the support level on 15 minute time frame this is what we are doing um the resistance level right now firstly let's say um okay right oh let me just make it a little bit nicer for you to understand or to see this thing right firstly is the market at the support yes so you have the support taking place there you have identified your support right secondly have you identified your double bottom which is the wheels um okay let me write it nicely double bottom ah come on double bottom right yes exactly yes and then thirdly uh do you see or have you spotted a rejection that that is there a price that rejected the sellers right and then fourthly um your v-shape taking place is there a v-shape do you see a v-shape oh okay and then break out so when it comes to buying you have five confirmations five confirmations right because of the v-shape is also introduced now 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 okay fine you have your support level right yes you tip that's why it's very important as a trader you must have a trading channel so that when you see these things you can just go somewhere and tick right so that you don't forget secondly do you have a double bottom yes and then thirdly is there a rejection a rejection will be something like you will have something like a candle like that right do you have a rejection if yes then you tick then you switch to one hour switch to one hour one hour this is where you will see this kind of a shape taking place right you will see that kind of a pattern taking place something like a v like this right and then um the last the last option is when the market breaks about the resistance then um you you go to one hour time frame right then on one hour time frame the market the candle must break about the candle must break that resistant level if the candle breaks then we can have a clear um, confirmation that the market is really going for a buy then when the market breaks um above the resistant this is no longer the resistant level taking place but it is now a support level that is why we buy that is why we buy automatically they change now there was this question right that's it but when we are at the resistant right when i was doing the breakout strategy when we are at the resistant we are supposed to be saying why are you buying at the resistant remember we broke above the resistance that is why we are buying and remember when the rest when we break above the resistance the resistance automatically changes it is no longer the resistance but a new support why because buyers came in more pressure buyers are in control of the market right but say why are we selling at the support we are supposed to be buying this is the reason we sell at the support once we break a support level now the support is no longer a support level once you break it why because there is more pressure that uh bearish um formations taking place or sellers they came in more pressure and they broke the support level once the support level is broken it is no longer support level but a resistant level that is what we are saying that is the tip right i hope now you understand and i hope now you get it now 
Remember, you can't just enter a trade. You must ask yourself questions before you have an entry. There must be tools, principles that will guide you whether you are right or wrong. Right? You don't just look into the market and then you see the market going up, up, up. And just say, look, the market is going up. Let's buy, let's buy, 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 buy. No, it doesn't work like that. Because remember, this can happen. Most of the time, this can happen. The market has been going up. Up, 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 up. And you are watching it going up. And then you say, you see, you know what? Uh, sellers don't have, don't have um, pleasure currently in the market. So I'm just going to buy also because the market is going up. Why not? Then this can happen. You buy. And then after you buy, then this happens. <laughs> Automatically, the market change direction. This can happen. I know most of us went through this. Right? You see the market going down. Very with a high momentum or high impact. Right? The market is going on a high pace, not a normal one. Yeah? And then you say, okay, fine. The market has been going down. Let me also sell. Because it's going down. You can see it's going down. Then you do what? Um, let me also, uh, yes, let me also sell. Then you do what? You sell. And then after you sell, not even 15 million, on, on 5 million, then the market decides to do this. Then you ask yourself, but the market was going down. Why all of a sudden it's going up? This can happen. That is why it's very most important to have these guidelines or to have the tools in place that will guide you on every entry you want to enter. There must be a supporting structure or supporting principles or supporting tools and we could also call it supporting guidelines that will guide you on your trading levels. Right? So, I'm just going to put it there so that those who missed out um, earlier, what I was saying, can, can get it. Remember, when you want to enter the market, you must ask yourself, is the market at the resistance? Or you must identify, you must identify the support level, right? Secondly, um, double top, which is the mullahs, or double bottom, which is the wheelies, right? Thirdly, um, rejection. Fourthly, for buying, for buying, for buying, or for bullish movement, you must put a V shape. Is there a V shape on one hour? Oh, sorry. On one hour, is there a V shape? And then, fourthly, I mean, the, the, the fifth point, you must uh, have a way for a breakout. Very important. Support and resistance level. Right? You support them also on 15 minute time frame. They also operate on one hour time frame. Right? Double tops, double bottom, mostly 15 minute time frame in a day, right? Um, you, you must look for higher highs of the day, lower lows of the day, right? And then the third position or the third option is that a, reje a, a rejection, whether rejecting the buyers or rejecting the sellers at a certain price or position, right? And then the fourth point, um, when you want to buy on one hour, do you see a V-shape taking place? If you look into your, your meta trader, um, go into one hour, you will see that when the market was buying, there was a V taking place, right? And then you will comment about that. And then the, the, the fifth uh, point is the breakout. Do you have a breakout, whether at the support or at the resistance? Now, um, there are numbers, there are also numbers on our information or on our description option you can also go and look to our numbers there for those who have been asking for the numbers and then yes we have a telegram um if you want a link i will definitely give you our link and then also we have um a whatsapp content if you want the link for whatsapp then we can also give you a link we are found um oh 
we are on um telegram account we have telegram account we have a whatsapp account we have a um, instagram account right and also a facebook page so if you want to see more of our results and testimonies and trades um you can also go to our facebook page um just search the tit um just like this right it's um t i t t i t right um yes it's t i t and then you go to our facebook page and then you will see um our trades and our work since our um, last of last week right now i hope this video is really going to impact your trading trading career or your trading accounts and also it's going to give you more knowledge about the, the the setup and structures yes keep on subscribing and liking and commenting and commenting also and giving out those questions so that we can break it down one by one right um yes keep on subscribing as more content is coming um this is from your board uh thank you very much remember this principle is for entries before you enter you must ask yourself if these are in place you must ask yourself if you've identified them and mostly on this hundred and next day you will stay which is much more familiar these days and also after the new york session opens most of the time after half past three on a south african time right um sorry sorry about that um i'm always um, thinking of numbers 15 date right um this is from the word thank you very much